Okay, so this is just basically a foreword to some of the things that are pointed out later in the video. So, Valtherian Arc 1 or 2 seem to be available to play online within a browser on multiple free browser-based game hosting sites. For instance, when launching Valtherian Arc 2, I had an official splash screen for ArcadeBomb.com, who host a variety of web-based browser-based games. Also, I found the developer's official site, agatestudios.com, linked down in the description, and they appear to be really cool people. They are apparently an award-winning game developer based in Bandung, Indonesia, and I've been around since around 2009 to present day, 2015. They readily offer up an email contact form under which it is entitled Collab With Us, and inside you will find that they happily and readily welcome conversation questions, partnerships, and or maybe potential business opportunities in the future. And if you wish to visit them, they even have a company visit guide available to you in both Indonesian and English versions. So, yeah, these guys look really, really legit, and I wish them all the best. Now, on to their upcoming game. Hello, everybody. What's going on? My name is Mists, and we've not seen each other for quite a long time. Now, I've recently stumbled across something in Steam Greenlight. If we look through the first couple of pages, you'll find a game by the name of Valtherian Ark Red Covenant. It is by a developer that goes by the name of Agate Studios Workshop. They are an Indonesian developer, and this is certainly not their first rodeo. They have made two previous games, Valtherian Arc 1 and 2. As for their previous release in the West, I am not too sure. I certainly have never seen them on Steam or on any other site. What platform they were on, I am not too sure either. This certainly will be on PC should they manage to get it greenlit, and I think it's worthy of your time and attention. They also do have a Kickstarter page up at the moment. If you head over to that, you'll see that they are looking for a 40k goal. Now, at the minute, they have around 222 backers. They've reached about 5.3k of their overall goal, with, I believe, 22 days remaining. Uh, did I close the page? No, there we go. 28 days to go, sorry. They have 28 days to go, and they need to have it funded by Friday, November the 13th, 10am BST. Now, if it didn't, manage to get kickstarted i don't think that would be the end of the world they have had two games so i'm sure they may be able to find themselves some support elsewhere but if it does fail they always have the option of sticking with steam going for the early access route and as i said this is not their first rodeo they certainly have produced things before now all of the artwork that you will see on both pages is certainly of high quality animations look good this certainly looks in terms of AAA quality, they have put in a lot of effort and a lot more is still to go. So just have a flick through, see if it's your bag. Just give it the thumbs up on Steam. There is no commitment on Steam in terms of when it asks you on Greenlight, would you buy this if it was on Steam? Just click yes, yeah, show your support for that game. Steam's not going to come back to you later on and be like, those hundred games you Greenlight last month, they all got up when now we want your money. It doesn't work that way, so just thumbs up anything you see. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that, or even if you're not going to buy it straight away. If we get it through, somebody will play it, somebody will review it, and then you'll get to see footage from it, and then you can decide whether or not it was worth it after all. And I don't know, it seems more of a safer bet than to just be like, ooh, ah, not sure, and just abandon it and let things fall by the wayside. You know, just let's give it a shot. Now, you'll have seen little bits and bobs. I will have tried to have thrown up the odd image here or there from the game. Now, I don't know these guys. They may be really cool. They are, as I say, from Indonesia and some other, de de some other devs, especially from places like Japan and things, can be a little bit funky when you show their stuff. You know, you get a lot of DMCAs and a lot of takedowns and things, copyright strikes on YouTube, so... But these guys certainly seem to be really cool. They've got someone who speaks fluent English doing their Steam voiceover, so I guess they have good ties and good PR team over in the Western world. So let's give it a shot. Let's see how this comes out. I have been Mists, and I hope you all enjoy this game. I certainly think it looks cool, and I would love to play it. I shall see you all next time.